Hey there, affiliate marketing dudes and dudettes, and welcome back to the Backyard Office. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about keyword tools. Which ones do you need? Which ones work best? How do you find a niche? How do you navigate this endless swamp of keyword tools to get to the niche that's actually gonna make you profit? So, in just a few minutes, we're gonna dive right in, and we're gonna check them all out and show you which ones to use, how to use them, and how you can start making money online in your niche. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right into the keyword tools that I use. Now, most people would be surprised to know that nine times out of 10, I always resort to the Google Keyword Planner. The Google Keyword Planner is a great tool and I really like it because of the fact that Google is giving us its stats. So there's nothing better than getting the stats and the data from the horse's mouth, right? We wanna go from the horse's mouth, we wanna check this out, and we wanna make sure everything works on a really cool way. And Google does that, right? They tell us exactly uh, how much uh, traffic each word gets, how much the people are paying, so it's really cool. Now, you'll notice here on the Google AdWords tool a very common problem that people deal with, and that is the fact that it just gives you like like a range, okay? So for African elephant facts, we could see it's between 1,000 searches a month and 10,000 searches a month, which as a search marketer, that's not good enough, right? I need to know the exact amount. I need to know if it's closer to 10 or if it's closer to one, because sometimes when I get into a market, it might be very valuable, it might be very good, but I need to know if it's got like 100 searches a month or 1,000, because that could be the difference between making $10,000 and like, 50 bucks or something like that. that. So we want to keep that in mind. So now you see here how this works. Now the way around this is to have an account with Google and actually have an ad running. So you can see here on my master account, we don't have an ad running. However, if I go into my other account here, just by clicking here and go into the Sober Marcus account, you'll notice that when I go into that account and I click on the search term thing, I can type in the same thing, elephant, if I spell it right. Okay, elephant, did I spell that right? We'll just use the spell checker. Luckily, this tool has that. We'll use elephant and we'll hit get ideas. And you'll notice that when I use this uh, with the login with a running ad, even if you're only spending a couple of cents per month, you can actually see that you know we have more exact matches. So for African elephant, 40,000 low competition, as opposed to seeing here, you know, 10,000 to 100,000. Okay, so it gives you a much more accurate range. Um, the amount per click stays the same, obviously, because that's what you're gonna be bidding. Now, again, when using the Google Keyword Tool, remember that whenever your competition is low, the suggested bid is exactly that. It's just a suggestion, right? It's not written in stone. It's not like whip out your credit card and pay $2.44 a click. It all depends on how many advertisers there are and everything like that. So it's very good to look at to understand, hey, this is what's going on. These are our keywords. This is how many times they're looked up per month on Google. This is our competition, meaning how many advertisers they think are there for that word. And this is how much they think the bid should go for. Now, whenever using the Google AdWords tool, what I like to do is I like to take the term and I like to actually search for it in Google, okay? Now, a lot of people don't talk about this, but your best keyword tool is just looking this up on Google, right? That's gonna tell you everything you need to know. So first of all, we know that 4,500 uh, or 40,500 people every month search for this. That's roughly 1,200 people a day. Good information, I like to know that. Now, when we go to Google, we know that like these searches are coming to this word. Now, what we see is we see a little block of info over here. We see National Geo, Nat Geo, Nat Geo, Wikipedia, Worldlife, Panda, and a lot of really competitive type things, okay? So we wanna look at that. Now, also we see that there are two advertisers on the bottom. It's very important that these advertisers are on the bottom because that means it's not competitive enough to have them on the top or maybe they just want this to be seen. Okay, very important. We wanna log that away in the old noggin. Next, we're gonna to go to page two and see if any ads show up on the top. Yes, okay. 
are they the same ads? Yes, they are. Okay, that means that it's not that competitive. Now, guessing by this, I'm gonna say that we could probably get this traffic for, let's go to the real one here, I could probably get the traffic for maybe 30 cents a click or less, okay, because of the nature of what's going on. Now, you're gonna be able to use this, you're gonna be able to tell how this works, and you're gonna be able to uh, refine your words and everything like that. For example, if I wanted to just refine African elephant, I could type this into the top here, like this. I can go to the keyword filter. Uh, I could do only low competition, medium competition, or high. I could choose how many searches I want, how much bid, everything like that. And then I can go to keyword options and only show ideas closely related. So if I just want African elephant stuff, then I could type in African elephant here have that only show keywords related, click get ideas, and now, boom, we see the exact amount, okay? Now, there's our exact amount, African elephant fan, uh, facts, habitat, forest, everything like that. Now these, this would be called your root keyword if you're going for this niche, and these would be called your subcategory words or long tail keywords. I gotta use those quotes like Chris Farley because I don't bathe regularly. I don't know how that works. All right, if you haven't seen the movie, I probably look like a crazy person right now. So Google it so I don't feel that crazy. But at any rate, we look at this and we have all these different words, which are our um, long tail keywords. Very important. So using the Google keyword tool is very important. Using Google is very important. That's normally what I do when I find niches is look at that specifically, okay? Now, there's some other tools that you can use that are important as well. Uh, one of them is the big tool there we go so on the Bing tool we look at this we could do the same kind of thing now Bing keyword planner is almost the same as Google but it's showing you the results from MSN Bing Yahoo that category that group of search engines okay so it's important like if you're just gonna advertise on MSN which a lot of times you can do and make a lot of money we'd use this tool here and we can see what the uh, search terms are like here okay so we could type in uh, African elephant we could do keyword filters same thing we could do um, show related uh, whatever you want okay so very important now we can go in here and we can hit get suggestions and we can see the difference in traffic now this is important because the traffic's gonna be different Google is like the 8,000 pound gorilla all right he actually got bigger here um, and uh, the MSN is a little bit smaller okay so we could go in here we could see ad group suggestions we're gonna click on keyword suggestions and we could see it's about a fourth of the traffic okay so less traffic but it's a lot easier and you can see it's four cents a click cool so now that we know it's four cents a click, we can kind of be like, okay, well maybe Google's cheaper too. Okay, important, right? That's why we use this stuff in conjunction. Now, also, um, you'll notice this is pretty much the same as Google, pretty cool. Uh, MSN's good if you're a beginner and you're looking to get into pay-per-click marketing, try Bing, Bing's great. Right? A lot of people are like, oh, gotta be on Google. Well, you don't. I can get 11,000 search volume right here. I can get a lot of traffic and I can only pay four cents for it. I like that. Now, another thing you can use is the word tracker tool the word tracker tool is pretty cool now word tracker pulls from a different group of search engines but you can also toggle the word tracker tool to show Google okay so if we just go word tracker like this and we do our African elephant okay we're gonna hit search right like this okay and we see African elephant only has a volume of 462 that's like a nothing hamburger as uh, the Shark Tank dude would say right that's nothing all right but if we go and we toggle this for Google we can actually go through and see okay should be like 40,500 or 14,800 or whatever okay a little bit different uh, you could see the cost per click and everything like that KIE now word tracker is good because it gives you like a difficulty range okay so you can see here the difficulty it says 53 you know and then you get in the green where it's 20 and things like that so what it's saying here is to show up on the first page isn't that difficult of course for 
African Elephant Facts, it's gonna be a little bit better too. So you just have to go in and, and take a look at that. Um, it also shows you Amazon, shows you YouTube, and everything like that. So it's pretty cool, right? The Word Tracker tool is great. Um, we're gonna go through it. If you like this tool, we'll make some more tutorials on it below. And uh, we're gonna give you some, some tools on all this stuff as well. What you want to do is go to um, keywordsniffer.com uh, and get all these tools. We'll show you how to use them. Okay, so this one's good. You can go through. Uh, you could see the IAT, which is the anchor text, which is like total geek speak. We don't need to pay too much attention to it. Shows the competition, uh, which you know higher is obviously bigger, lower is better. These are pretty good. Shows you the KIE, which is like the competition versus the popularity, and then the cost per click. Okay, so pretty cool. You could see this. So again. We tackled Google, we got Word Tracker, we got MSN. Another one I like to use is, uh, let's see if I can find it here, is keywordtool.io. This is a new one I've been checking out. Um, it's a lot like Word Tracker. It is a little on the expensive side. Hopefully I don't kept catch my office on fire here, right? It's a little on the expensive side, but again, we can take a look at uh, African Elephant. You can see what comes up here for this one. And here we go. Now, if you don't have a paid account, all this stuff's not gonna show up and it's gonna be kind of a pain. But you can see here, the search volume's a little bit higher. Now, I think the reason the search volume's higher here is because it's also showing MSN and Bing and everything like that. I, that's my guess. Might not be, might be, I don't know. But we can see here uh, the different types of words, the different subcategory words. Um, you can do all kinds of competition reports. Um, everything like that. So it's pretty cool, right? The AdWords competition is virtually nothing. You can see related keywords like this. Right? You can see um, questions right, like this. So it's easy to see everything at a glance. It's really good. Um, now make sure you go to keywordsniffer.com. We'll have links to these tools uh, so that you can get them through my link, which means I get paid, which means you like my videos, which means I'm going to make you more videos and everything like that. So we're all happy here. That's how affiliate marketing works, right? That's what you want to do. Um, so this is how it works, right? Very simple, very easy. Now, another thing that's cool with keywordtool.io is you have like YouTube, Okay, so you can go see what's there on YouTube, much like the Word Tracker tool. Okay, um, not a whole lot of traffic there on YouTube for the old elephants. Um, now, this is kind of elusive because I'm sure there are videos about African elephants that get a lot more views. This is just based on search, okay? So, important to look at. We could also go to Bing. See our search volume here, okay? We could go to uh, Amazon, see what comes up on Amazon. There's probably like books about the African elephant and things like that. Uh, see what people are searching for. Now, again, you're gonna notice that it's not super, um, super like accurate, like 60,500, that's like Google, that's Amazon, that's everything, right? Uh, you could also check the App Store. Okay, this is why I always say like, hey, I kind of usually just stick to the AdWords free tool um, and the Bing free tool because they're accurate and they're dead on and that's where I'm gonna be getting the traffic anyway. Okay, now you can also go in and analyze your competitors and things like that if you put in a URL and you could also check um, search volume for a bunch of different keywords. Okay, so that's kind of cool, right? Really good. Now, another tool I like to use that uh, we give you guys free is the keyword sniffer tool. Okay, the keyword sniffer tool allows you to do like all this stuff at once, right? What you're gonna see here is at keywordsniffer.com, okay, and this is a tool that I created for you. Um, in like I made this for you so that you like it and you use it and then you upgrade to Simple Sites Big Profits because it's all based on this training. Um, but what it does is it does all the stuff at a glance. So I can go in here and I can type in African elephant like this. I can hit go, and then I can do a Google search. Boom, see what the competition is, okay? Right like this, 12 million competition. If I wanna isolate that, I can just click on Google competition, and boom, it's gonna go ahead and isolate it for me and show me it's only 14 million um, in the results, okay? We could also do a Bing search at a glance, okay? See what's out there, see if there's any advertisers. We could also do a um, Yahoo search if we want to do that, much like um, Bing, right? Pulls from the same place. We can also do a pay-per-click competition. Now this is cool, right? What this does is it allows you to check out the pay-per-click competition in direct. 
okay? So I can see what ads are there, I can see what the advertisers are doing, I can see how much they're paying, what the ultimate search volume is, and everything. So this is really cool, right? This is why I like to use this. You always wanna use this in conjunction. Now, if you don't have my toolbar, the toolbar that I have on Chrome actually does this for you, right? This toolbar actually has the power search in there, which is what we're using with Keyword Sniffer, and it also has some other cool stuff. So if you don't have that, go to affiliatemarketingdude.com, put your name and email in the box, start using this, it's awesome, okay? Very cool. Now, you can use this with all the other stuff as well. And what you're gonna see is we do Google Trends for you. Um, so you can do a Google Trend and you can check this stuff out just at a glance. So it's super easy to use. And again, that's affiliatemarketingdude.com. Uh, we could also go in and check domain names, which is important. Um, affiliate programs, offer vault affiliate programs, ClickBank affiliate programs, a PDF, stocks, everything, right? So it's really easy. And what I encourage you to do is do this stuff and use it in conjunction. Now, another feature of the keyword sniffer is that you can use the click to research button. What this is gonna do is it's gonna do a research for you, okay? There's, you get like three free a day, I worked out, to where you can get three free a day, and then there's like an upgrade where you can search for hundreds of keywords a day if you want. But at least you could do some, right? So do all your stuff in the Google Keyword Planner, in the MSN, and then come here when you're ready to, to deep look at a niche, look at it deep, and then do this, right? And much like the keyword, um, the uh, word tracker, this actually has all the data for you. You can go in and you can see the keyword competition rank, um, you can see what's out there, you can see what the auto-compete shows, uh, which is kind of cool because the auto-compete's gonna get you a lot of traffic. So you wanna use these in conjunction, it's really cool. My recommendation is first use the um, keyword sniffer tool, just go to keywordsniffer.com or if you wanna use it with the toolbar, use affiliatemarketingdude.com and get that toolbar. And you can use this to do all your research and then when you click to do the research, you can find out at a glance all the stuff that's there there um, using the keyword finder tool which is really cool and then if you upgrade again I'm an affiliate and you know you use it it works really good so in conjunction these work extremely well together um, they're really easy to use so I hope you enjoyed this little overview of the keyword tools again my recommendation is if you don't want to pay for stuff, go to the Google AdWords tool, use that, use the Bing tool, uh, use the keyword sniffer. Um, if you do want to pay for stuff, you can do the upgraded version of the keyword sniffer and get all this as well. So really cool, this is how you get into it. Um, put your comments and questions below on this video, give us a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, click the bell, and we're gonna talk more about these keyword tools and how to use them in conjunction with my trigger word method. So I hope you like this video. I hope you check out these keyword tools. Um, again, keywordsniffer.com. Go to affiliatemarketingdude.com. Get the, um, the browser version of this and subscribe for the next video. So I hope you like this. Hope it made sense. And I hope you learned a little bit more about keyword tools and which to use. Thanks again for watching. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Put your questions about keyword research below because that's what I use to create my next videos. So if you want to learn something, interact here, right? This is all about you. Help me help you kind of thing and buy some stuff if you like this. So thanks again for watching. I'm Marcus from AffiliateMarketingDude.com. Make sure you subscribe um, and put your comments in the box below on the old YouTube. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.